this video we're going to step through one of the testing units from the Zychem range, the exact chlorine plus photometer. This is the current 2020 model. This piece of equipment is able to measure a variety of things, including chlorine dioxide in concentrations up to 6 ppm, free chlorine up to 12 ppm, and hydrogen peroxide up to 130 ppm to name a few. But today we're focused on measuring chlorine dioxide from a treated water supply. What you will need is the photometer, the glycine test strips, the DPD-1 strips, which all come in the photometer kit, cleaning brush for cleaning the photometer afterwards, and of course, the water that you want to test. First, remove the cap from the bottom of the photometer so it's easy to grab later in the test. Turn the photometer on using the zero on button. The screen will show the last reading that was done on the machine. Press the menu button to flick through to the chlorine dioxide menu which on this machine is labelled CD. We then want to fill the sample cell three times with the water that we want to test and discard. By rinsing the cell, we're making sure that there's no cross contamination and that the result we get is going to be true for the sample of water we want to test. Once that's done, fill the cell to the top and place on a flat surface. Next, we want to take out our test strips. We'll take out the DPD-1 strip and put it somewhere safe where it's not going to get wet. We'll take the glycine one out first, as we'll, that's the one we're going to be using first. Make sure you put the caps back on the bottle so they don't get contaminated by light. Next, pick up the glycine strip. We're going to place it into the test cell whilst pressing the read button at the same time. When it's in there, move it back and forth gently while the monitor counts down from 20 to 1. When it gets to 1, we're going to remove the strip and put the cap on the cell. Whilst this monitor is flashing, bring up the zero, pick up the DPD-1 strip. The monitor will automatically start counting down from 20 to 1. When it does, put the strip in and start moving it back and forth. When it gets to 1, remove the strip and cover the cell. The monitor will now count up to 100 and then it will display the reading. A couple of useful notes when using this machine. When the machine is new, be sure to calibrate as the first step. The manual carries those instructions and you'll also find a video on the Zychem YouTube channel that steps through this. Also, consult the table on the back of the manual. There's only certain ranges this device can read up to. Okay, so we're almost there. When it gets to 100, the monitor will flash and then it will display the reading. Once you've got the reading, discard the water and clean the machine with your cleaning brush. Any second now it will deliver a reading, it's just calculating. 0.62, so that's saying this water sample has 0.62 ppm of chlorine dioxide. For biosecurity solutions for your industry, contact Zychem Technologies or visit our website.